Welcome to Good Vibes Travel in Thailand. Today we're diving into a fascinating comparison between two neighboring countries that share borders, history, and geography, Myanmar and Thailand. Despite these similarities, their paths couldn't be more different. While Thailand has become a desired global tourism hotspot and economic success story, Myanmar has faced internal conflict, civil war, and financial stagnation. So what happened? Why did these two countries take such drastically different paths? Let's explore their history, economies, and the role of politics in shaping their futures. Geographically, both Myanmar and Thailand are located in Southeast Asia, sharing a long border that stretches over 2,400 kilometers. Myanmar is larger in size, with diverse landscapes that range from towering mountain ranges in the north to vast river systems that flow into the Andaman Sea. Thailand, on the other hand, is famous for its tropical beaches, lush forests, and bustling urban centers like Bangkok. Both countries have abundant natural resources, fertile lands, and strategic access to key maritime routes. However, while Thailand has capitalized on its geography to develop a thriving tourism industry, Myanmar's potential remains largely untapped due to decades of internal conflict and political instability and turmoil. When we look back at their history, we begin to see where the divergence started. Thailand, known as Siam until 1939, was never colonized by a Western power, allowing it to maintain sovereignty throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. This unique position in the region allowed Thailand to modernize gradually while avoiding the upheavals of colonial rule. Myanmar, on the other hand, was not so fortunate. It was colonized by the British in the late 1800s, becoming part of British India before gaining independence in 1948. While Thailand adapted to modernization, Myanmar struggled with internal divisions and a legacy of colonial exploitation that left the country fractured. The post-colonial years further exacerbated the differences. Thailand moved towards a constitutional monarchy and became more integrated into the global economy. Its military coups, while frequent, were typically short-lived, and the country continued to grow as a hub for tourism, agriculture, and manufacturing. Myanmar, in contrast, fell under military rule in 1962 with the junta implementing policies of isolation that crippled its economy. Ethnic conflicts erupted, and Myanmar was essentially cut off from the global stage, while Thailand was opening its doors to foreign investment and international tourism. Economically, Thailand has seen consistent growth over the past few decades, transforming into a middle-income country with a diverse economy. The tourism industry alone brings in tens of billions of dollars annually, attracting millions of visitors who flock to its beaches, temples, and vibrant cities. Thailand's manufacturing sector has also become a key player in the global market, producing everything from electronics, medical supplies, to automobiles. Myanmar, by contrast, has struggled economically with widespread poverty and limited infrastructure. The country has vast, untapped natural resources, including oil, gas, and precious minerals. But political instability and ongoing ethnic conflicts have made it difficult to fully harness these assets. But perhaps the most striking difference between the two countries lies in their political landscapes. Thailand, despite its history of military coups and political unrest, has managed to maintain a level of stability and openness that has allowed it to thrive. It has a relatively free press, a growing middle class, and an increasingly interconnected economy. Myanmar, on the other hand, has been trapped in a cycle of military dictatorship, ethnic violence, and authoritarian rule. The brief period of democratic reforms that began in 2011 gave hope to many. 
but the military coup in 2021 dashed those hopes, plunging the country back into turmoil. Civil unrest, human rights violations, and a brutal crackdown on dissent have once again isolated Myanmar from the international community. So why did these two countries, which share so much in terms of geography and history, take such radically different paths? It ultimately comes down to leadership and the choices made in the post-colonial era. Thailand's ability to maintain a balance between monarchy, military, and civilian governance has allowed it to weather political storms without losing its economic footing. Myanmar's military rulers on the other hand, pursued policies of isolation, repression, and conflict, squandering the nation's potential and plunging it into decades of hardship. As we look to the future, the differences between Myanmar and Thailand remain stark. Thailand continues to be a beacon for tourism and development in Southeast Asia, while Myanmar struggles with conflict and isolation. However, Myanmar's story isn't over yet. With its rich cultural heritage, natural resources, and the resilience of its people, there's still hope that one day it could follow a path of peace and prosperity. But for now, the contrasts between these two neighboring countries serve as a powerful reminder of how history, leadership, and governance can shape the fate of nations. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into the histories of Myanmar and Thailand, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content like this. What are your thoughts on the future of these two countries? Leave your comments below and let's start a conversation. Until my next video, I wish you good health, great wealth, and positive vibes.